in the Bible, you know how there's going to be a judgment day. In the Quran, it's going to be a judgment day. The, yeah. the Quran's going to be wiped, all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Is that going to happen to humans on this earth? Are they going to be accountable for their actions? And if they are, yeah. who is it that's going to hold them accountable? It, everyone is accountable. Um, and there are different types of judgments, right? If I, I can say, if I said to you, and this is what the master teacher, Dr. Malachi Z. York, told us many years ago, he said, I'm not going to be judged. He's not going to be judged or everyone's not. No, he said that at the time. Okay. And everybody was like, what do you mean you're not going to be judged? And he explained it. This is what I'm about to explain to you. You judge yourself every day. Meaning that the decisions you make, the, the uh, accumulation of all your decisions will become your final judgment. So, for example, if you know that you shouldn't smoke, right? And smoking is bad for you. You decide to smoke, right? So if you keep smoking for many, many, many years and let's say you did get lung cancer or something happens, it was the, the, the judgment that you put on yourself. So there's judgment as in if you know what to do, you will do it and you will not be judged. So if you tell the truth, you don't lie, you don't steal, you don't rape, you don't murder, you don't drink alcohol, you don't do all of these things, then you're judging yourself because it's up to you to decide what's good or bad. Now, there's levels of judgment. In ancient times, when you were crossing over, there's a, a, a judgment. And you have your ancestors who, as I mentioned before, that speak to you, through you, and in your mind. And when you're crossing over, you'll have the good ones that are waiting to help you cross over because we don't die, as we said, because energy cannot be destroyed. So what it is is, will you make it to the other level or the other states? If you don't make it based on the fact that you haven't raised your vibration or your um, development to a certain level, then you just come right back. And this is why people see the white light or the, that's a wormhole where they come back through to this to be re, um, basically go through, the, through the, the schooling again. So yes, you judge yourself, but there's no judgment like the way how the religious world interpret it, where you go to hell and get like burned forever. Um, there is a judgment in the sense where, like I was saying, that like, you can be trapped on this planet as, and roaming as a disembodied being or soul because you were not able to make it. There is also another judgment in the, in the sense that you have 24 to 24,000 chances to pass the examination, if we want to use that term. And Every time you fail and you come back, it's your opportunity to fix up. And so when you come back, a lot of times you choose your parents. You choose the parents to come through because there may be something that you didn't do that you needed to do. And this time round, let's say, for example, I was supposed to be a football player and I didn't make it in the last time. When I'm coming back this time, I'm going to try and come through parents that are excellent football players or like they can get me to where I need to go. That's just a little example. But so um, if, you, if you waste all your cycles and you get to your last time and you don't make it, then you dissipate. Meaning like you cease to exist in the form where you can come back and have the chances to make it, to, to go to higher realms and live a, a different an, or existence, shall I say. Because there's a difference between existence and creation, right? You exist before you are created and you can go on to other realms, um, other galaxies, other solar system and, you know, continue learning because you never really stop learning. So it all depends on, on you, why you're judged or how you're judged.